Think of today's video as a field safety guide to help you find out which wild animals you need to avoid at all costs. Like this deceivingly dangerous vegetarian. And this formidable African killer. Bees and wasps. Bees and wasps are dangerous, but people really do need to be reminded of that fact. The problem is, nobody in the world is actively keeping track of fatalities attributed to them. Back in the US alone, 50 people per year succumb to bee and wasp attacks. For all we know, that number could balloon to 500 if we include worldwide attacks. Case in point is the Japanese giant hornet. Every year, up to 40 deaths are recorded by the sting of the Japanese hornet. The venom of the Japanese hornet would cause an allergic reaction and dissolve tissues within the short time. The repeated stinging from the group of hornets could also result in death. Japanese hornets are very aggressive and fearless. One hornet alone is more than capable of dispatching 40 individual bees all by its lonesome. But these guys rarely operate alone. Each colony of Japanese hornet contains up to 700 members. They conduct regular raids on bee colonies to harvest their favorite food, bee larvae. Deer. Wouldn't think of it, but deer are actually quite dangerous. In fact, the yearly worldwide average of deer-related fatalities is at least 300 people. He got me. But just how could these normally docile creatures be the cause of so many deaths? Well, deer have horns, and you might think that these would be the main cause of human fatalities, but that's actually pretty wrong. Sure, admittedly, there have been recorded cases of fatal deer horn impalements, but that's actually rare and far in between. The latest one was actually a man in Arkansas who was gored to death by a deer that he shot and thought was already dead. That being said, the vast majority of deer-related deaths happen when deer cross the road, usually at dusk or at dawn. Rocks. Prehistoric animal that survived tens of thousands of years with ancestors predating the dinosaurs. Not something you want to mess with. The crocodile is certainly one of the world's most dangerous animals. It's a real killing machine with powerful jaws, speed, and a tough body that can endure most forms of punishment. Unfortunately, the larger species of crocodiles don't have a problem seeing humans as their prey. And the reason for crocodiles not killing more people is likely because we know of the dangers and do try to stay away as much as possible. There was actually a case of a crocodile seemingly preferring to attack people. In the Philippines, three people were said to be attacked and devoured by the same croc on different times. It started with a 12-year-old girl who was attacked while she was crossing a river, quickly followed two months later when her uncle was ripped to shreds. Then finally, a man disappeared and was rumored to be attacked by the same croc. A few days later, a crocodile was spotted clutching a severed human arm in its jaws. The number of deaths attributed to them is about a thousand a year, but it could also be far higher considering that most crocs live in non-developed countries with poor population and lack of official records. Elephants We often think of elephants as kind, gigantic, intelligent, and majestic animals. In fact, we don't immediately think of danger when we see one within our vicinity. The thing is, because they're so large and so smart, they pose more of a danger than you might think. <laughs> elephants will attack if they're injured, if they feel threatened, or heck, if they just feel like it. And because they're so big, if they do decide to attack, most of the time the results are going to be pretty fatal. In fact, there's over 500 fatalities that are caused by elephant attacks every year. Most of these incidents are caused by elephant bulls who were cast out of the herd, making them all sorts of crazy, or by overprotective mothers with calves. In one instance, a 44-year-old man working as an elephant keeper was attacked by a cow elephant when he tripped over a foot chain while the animal was being medically treated. The Slow Loris Positively cute and fuzzy, the Slow Loris is one of the rarest primates in the world. It's a nocturnal primate that moves very slowly, hence its name. They have large, front-facing eyes and strong hands that give excellent grip while climbing the trees. They look so adorable that I wouldn't be surprised if most of you would want to keep them as a pet. Unfortunately, it's an extremely poisonous creature. In fact, it's the only living poisonous primate on Earth. They have poison glands on the sides of their elbows, which release a foul-smelling toxic fluid whenever they feel threatened. They would then lick some poison from the gland and mix it in with a saliva and bite the one who disturbed it. The poison could cause allergic reactions and even anaphylactic shock. The cassowary. Cousin of the ostrich, cassowaries are also large, flightless birds and are found in tropical rainforests of New Guinea and Australia. 
Reaching between 55 inches and 79 inches in height and up to 58 kilograms in weight, this amazing bird is the second largest living bird in the world, next only to the ostrich. They also have very long, powerful legs, punctuated with sharp claws, making them possibly the most dangerous bird in the world. With their long, powerful legs, cassowaries can easily bring down another animal or even hunt humans. They also use their long, sharp claws as a weapon to rip any potential predator into pieces. Think of them as the modern equivalent to velociraptors from Jurassic Park, only bigger and with more feathers. Snakes. Which snake in particular? Eh, pretty much any of them. Most especially the venomous ones, though. Venomous snakes are definitely some of the most dangerous animals in the world, which is easily noted by the number of deaths per year related to snake bites. Current estimations are around 50,000 deaths a year. That number could very well be higher, considering that many of the most dangerous snakes live in non-developed countries. Couple that with poor population and lack of health care, official records are hard to come by. That being said, the number of deaths by snakes is not specific to one species, but rather spread out among all snake species. And there are countless snakes that could kill humans. But with that said, always bear in mind that countless other snakes are completely harmless to us. The Hippo The hippo is considered by many as one of the most dangerous animals in the world, and the locals in Africa claim that hippos kill more people than crocodiles, lions, elephants, and cheetahs combined. They are the third largest land mammal on Earth, after the elephant and the rhinoceros. Thing is, there are no reliable sources that can confirm the rumor. But there is tons of evidence that suggests that there could be over 500 related deaths each year, and that number could potentially be a lot higher. Their massive jaws could easily crush a human if they wanted to, and there has been documented cases of hippos just suddenly deciding to attack a human. Marius Ells had a pet hippo, which he had had since it was just a few months old. Hippos seemed tame, allowing Ells to hand feed it and even swim with it. And then one day an ambulance was called to Ells' home and they found him covered with multiple hippo bites. Cows. Who knew that your favorite piece of protein could have killed people in the past? Despite their dopey appearance and reputation for being delicious slabs of meat, cows are deceptively dangerous. This is because, despite everything, they're still thousand-pound animals full of hormones and probably an uninhibited hatred for all of mankind. Cows have trampled people to death, and in less serious cases, injure them so severely they had no choice but to turn vegan. Though cow attacks are rare, they're actually more common than shark attacks and result in way more fatalities. The reasons for cow attacks are usually people coming too close to their young, which is understandable, but at the same time, kind of terrifying. Since baby cows are cute, it's almost like they specifically evolved to look that way just to send their mutters into a rage-inducing gore and trample spree when people tried to Instagram them. From now on, whenever we eat a juicy snake, we're doing so with sweet, sweet revenge on our minds. The Cape Buffalo this large African animal is also known as the Black Death with good reason. They're responsible for the most number of fatal animal attacks on humans in Africa. This animal is quite unpredictable and very aggressive. When it feels that it's being threatened, or even if you disturb it for just a bit, a Cape Buffalo would attack anything, even large predators like lions. A matured Cape Buffalo stands 6 feet in height and can weigh close to a ton. The most noticeable feature and primary weapon of the Cape Buffalo are their large, thick horns. It's most aggressive when it's been wounded, or if one of the calves from the herd is under attack. An angry buffalo will circle and stalk its prey, waiting for the perfect moment to tear apart its opponent with its massive, thick horns. They're also known to engage in mobbing behavior when fighting off predators. Now, think about an angry mob of cape buffaloes charging you at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. You're that scary, they call you Black Death. See you all next time!